Thought I'd do a three month review on how the uh, Folsom Delta has been doing. Basically the very first thing that I did when I had finished that first review was I went ahead and put on a build tack type surface on here which I just love, it just works great. And then the, the next thing that happened like two or three prints later is the effector arms that come with it started falling apart where this aluminum rod has these ends just kind of glued onto it and they were starting, I had two of them let loose. So I, I drilled them, drilled and tapped them actually and put these little teeny miniature screws on in all ends to hold them together. I've never really liked this metal and whatever kind of fiber this is as a, as a bearing. So that held them together so I could keep using the machine until the carbon fiber ones arrived that I ordered which give you a, a nicer uh, ball fitting up there. But uh, these were the cheap ones off eBay. It was, like, it was under $14 and uh, the screw eye threads just drop inside the carbon fiber tube. There's no mechanical connection there. So again, the only thing that would hold those together is glue. And uh, so I went ahead and glued them, but I didn't like that idea. I made up a jig uh, and drilled them and pinned them. So they're also now pinned at all ends. So there's no way they're gonna come apart. Uh, the next thing that I did is I, uh, going through my junk box, uh, I found a 24 volt fan that I had left over from when I had flash forward forge dreamers and even though this is a 12 volt system I just wired it right up the end of the power supply and glued it right down there as a stack and it running on 12 volts that fan is silent compared to the others and it keeps the brick nice icy cold no problem there at all and let's see the next thing I did is when you build it initially the extruder they show bolting it up here on top and the problem with it on top is it's, it's hard to reach there's no filament holder that's going to feed into that unless it's hanging from the ceiling so I went ahead and moved it to the side rail where it would make more sense and once it was on the side rail I grabbed a chunk of uh, metal that actually used to be a cover off a computer PSU it's right here, it's just thin metal but it doesn't need to be much and ran a bolt in it and bolted it to the side so now my filament and everything, it's all one piece. I can pick the printer up and move it as, as one unit. Um, to make sure that the wires that run down all of these channels, like from the micro switches and stuff, can never come out and become a problem, I just cut some cardstock slightly wider than the grooves and snapped it in there. So all the wiring is secured. It wasn't a problem, but I wanted to make sure that it would never be a problem. And then what I just did about half an hour ago is I put in the uh, TMC2208 uh, drivers, stepper drivers. I had already done those uh, stepper drivers in my Anycubic i3 Mega and it made that machine totally silent other than its fans. And I just put them in here and it's just made this machine totally silent other than the fans. You do not hear the steppers running at all. I didn't bother to put one on the extruder a stepper because obviously it moves so little it's not an issue. I just did the X, Y, and Z on the Delta. And if you haven't ever worked with the TMC2208, it's really easy. You don't have to do any soldering or anything like that. I popped out the old stepper drivers that were in it, put in the new ones, make sure you put them in the right orientation and the only tricky thing you have to do is flip the the cables around your X, Y, and Z cables literally pull this part off the board, flip them around, put them back on and then snap those in So because everything, everything's reversed if you don't they'll run the wrong direction I set the voltage on all three of those at about one volt I think 0.9 would have been fine but why not on a Delta? Give it a little extra. Plus, you got your two, uh, you know, two cooling fans blasting right on them, so there's no way they're going to overheat or anything like that. But uh, that's a very inexpensive way, and in not requiring any specialized tools to make a totally silent printer. So I'm loving that. So here we are, three months later, and it's working great and what have I spent uh, on those drivers what were they eight eight nine bucks a piece something like that three of them twenty and the uh, effector arms I don't know I've spent another thirty or forty dollars I guess on it 
to make it a, a really good quiet Delta printer which I initially got at a really good price to begin with so couldn't be happier it uh, I mainly use it for doing uh, nightlight lithopanes for the uh, for the wife and family and kids I can't get any light behind it because I'm shining the camera right into this light from the window but uh, you know what lithopanes are I'm just printing one out there right now all right talk to you later